this just keeps happening. Utah County investigators are looking into another serious case of road rage in Eagle Mountain. This one happened less than a mile from a deadly road rage crack case that was back in June and killed two innocent people. Yeah, new special Stan Rascone spoke with victims of the latest case here, capturing it on video. And Dan, that video is concerning. Yes, this video is showing just how aggressive and angry drivers can get out here on Utah roads. One guy even getting out of his car to throw rocks at the other car. Two families now pleading with drivers to calm down. It was scary. Saturday afternoon in Eagle Mountain, two teenage sisters capturing this video of a gold car preventing a white car from passing. The driver of the white car eventually pulling over and then throwing rocks at the gold car. My truck almost got hit. My daughters are freaking out. Matt Meyer is the father of the girls who captured the video and called him crying. She's crying. She's freaking out because there's these people doing this in front of her and she can't stop. Then a short distance down the road, another car with a dash cam captures the white car going by and then the gold car swerves and almost hits him. Out of nowhere on my right hand side comes this gold car. Bryce Robinson was in the car with his wife and three kids. I honked at him and so he rolled down their window and started throwing trash out at us. It's just one more serious case of road rage. <gasps> oh my gosh. That seems to be increasing on Utah roads. The latest Eagle Mountain incident happened less than a mile away from this deadly road rage case that killed two innocent people back in June. I was shocked. Lieutenant Josh Chappell with the Utah County Sheriff's Department says he's surprised by the video and says drivers are becoming very impatient. Statewide, I think we've seen um, quite a few more of these road rage incidents happening. Uh, we, need to, we need to fix that. Um, if we're involved, take a deep breath. Matt and Bryce agree drivers need to calm down. You gotta slow down. You gotta stop getting angry over some minor incident, whatever it may be. Nothing's worth taking another life. Stop, <laughs> take a step back, you know, think, think things through. It's not worth your safety. It's not worth the safety of others. Police say they've identified the drivers in both of these cars here. They are now investigating to figure out exactly what went wrong here and also what possible charges could be filed. I'm Dan Rascone for KSL 5 News.